Okay, let's assume that you already uh, downloaded the MetaTrader 5 as you can see here on the screen. Now all you do is just tap on it. And once you tap on it, it will bring up uh, uh, a screen like this. This is what you get when you open it. Or sometimes it will automatically open a, 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 a free demo account for you. But in this case, once you open it, it will give you quotes like this. Or here on the left side, you see the these are the quotes now. The quotes, and you see these are the... Uh, pairs that you are trading with or the pairs that you are trading with and then the numbers that you see on the left those are the numbers price entry prices and or where the or where the price is currently at guys on the left and these tiny numbers that you see with the percentage here that is next to the uh currency pairs that you trade with those are spreads guys those are spreads that you see yeah? The numbers that you see there somewhere there number two number five number two number four 24 these are the spreads guys that you see here so yeah okay now what do you do next you just click on here we know you see as you can see here if you can see these three uh uh dots here on the left up corner you just click on them and then it will give you uh this page here now what do you do next if you want to go to the settings and the change the theme you just click on the setting and then you go there so if i won't go there so let me just quickly go on the manage account you go here and then you come you click on manage accounts now here are the accounts now that you see when you log in so make sure that now okay if you want to uh to log in, make sure that you create a demo account or a real account with a broker of your choice. And then, what do you do next? You click on this plus button here. On that plus button, and then you go find any broker of your choice now. You find any broker of your choice. In this case, as we already have a, a broker, so I won't go through that. So let me just quickly go to the account that I have, which is uh, FTMO free trial swing usd as you can see there this is the amount that you see there so it will obviously show demo on the other side if the account is demo or real so yeah let's just go back to the charts now okay here down here if you want to go back you just quickly click on charts and then it will take you to the charts now these are the charts now if now you feel like okay if now you feel like okay there are certain pairs that you trade and you see they are not here they are not here on the on the screen here on the list of uh, currency pairs what do you do next you just come here at this plus button and then find a sample a sample that you trade with so let me just quickly go and go to forex and then i'll add the pairs that i trade guys so now okay we add us dollar card if you trade you that pair or if you trade jbp jpy you Click on it and then it will automatically add on the on the on the on the on the on the, on the list of uh, pairs that you trade as you can see there. So now I mostly trade gold, guys. I mostly trade gold. So now let's just go over to gold. Okay. In order for you to open gold, you just click on it like that and then it will open charts. You go to charts and then it will open the charts uh, like that. Now if you want to zoom in, you just click on the on the screen and then you go. To the time frames that you want to go to so let me just check on h4 as you can see now we are on h4 as you can see and you see that okay if you want to place an order this is very important guys if you want to place an order if you just come here at the time frame that you want to place an order at let me say on h1 as you can see so now on h1 as you can see okay if you want to place an order you just quickly check in this case we want to place a buy so but with what volume now what lot size are you going to use you just come here at this lot size if you want to use a 0 0.01 you click on the 0 0.01 if you want to use a 0 0.05 just click on it and then you add five and then you leave it like that and then you press if you want to buy you click on buy and if you want to sell you click on sell so in this case we want to buy so let's just quickly click a buy as you can see we place now our buy now that is our buy
so now if you want to modify the, the, the you just click on it like that and then if you want to modify the stop the the, 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 the order that you placed you just click on if you click on it it will bring up this close sltp and uh yeah now for you if you want to uh, modify and put in a stop loss you just click on sl and then you move around with it you move around with it you can also see on the left you can also see on the left the amount that you are willing to lose it can also display the amount that you are willing to lose when you move it when you move it like this when you move it like this so in this case we keep it like that now if you want to set your tp you just click on tp and then in this case this one it will be a different color so you move it up you can see the amount that you are winning that you are getting when you price on tp hit you click on it like that and then then from there once you are done now moving around with it then you go to the blue arrow on the right blue blue arrow arrow on the light on the right and then you click on it like this and then it will bring up modify and then once you are okay with the tp levels and the stop loss uh, levels then you click on it like that so that is how you place an order now that is a aggressive entry now that is aggressive entry now if you want to see how the order is performing and how much you are checking you go you just click on trade once you click on trade you can see the amount that you are losing or it is in profit or in a loss you can see it clearly here and the equity balance margin free margin and margin level guys so now if you want to see your trade history if you want to see your trade history you just click on history and then you see it will display the profit that you made the deposit swap commission balance and everything all your previous trades they will be shown here guys all your previous trades they will be shown here so now let's go to the trades now go to the chat there are some important things that i want you to to, to i want to show you okay the next thing that you can do now if you want to place pending orders now if you want to place pending orders what do you do you just come up here as you can see here there's like a clock there's like a clock up here at the top at the top uh right corner there's like a clock up there. you click on it and then it will bring up this arrow here now if you want to change whether it's a buy limit if you want to place a buy limit order then you just click on it and then it will be at a place where you want to put it you just move around and play with it like this as you can see most it's moving then you place it like this and then if you want to put a stop loss you put a stop loss down below here and then your tp again let's move it around here and then you click on it and then you place guys it's already showing on the screen here yeah? and then you place it like that so once price comes at that level the order will be uh on your order will be uh executed guys so now okay what is the next thing that you have to do now if you want to close the trades if you want to close the trade you can just automatically you can just close the trade like this then you hold it like this and then you either close a position or modify new order chart or bug operations bug operations means that you have to close all the trades in one go you close all the trades in one go guys that is what we mean by bug operations guys so i hope you understand everything here now let's go to the uh, to the chart again so i want to put uh i want to put in uh indicators if you are one of those traders that use indicators or you want to use indicators then what do you do next you just come up here and then uh you come here you click here and then those are objects now if you want to put uh some object on the screen you can just click here and then it is done like that so now okay now if you want to add an indicator guys now if you want to add an indicator you just go okay let me just quickly go again okay you just click here on the screen once and then you come to this kind of thing which is like this and then you come to the main chart now if you want to add an indicator to the main chart you just click on this plus button on f here and then you click on it and then the here here are the types of uh, indicators that you will be seeing on your screen guys these are the indicates that you will be seeing on the screen but in this case i just want to add 
uh, moving average now. I just want to move to add a moving average. So let me just quickly on the uh, add on the moving average. The period you can change it, and you can also check the color of the uh, indicator if you want to change it. And then you just click save. Then you click save on it like that. And let's go to the chart now. As you can see on the chart, you see we have our moving average now. This is our moving average which is a 50 so yeah that is how you can put indicators on the charts guys so now okay guys if there is something that you, you are missing out that you don't understand here just drop your comment in the comment section so that i will create another video going through this so yeah i hope all of you understand what does it mean how 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 did i come up how did i do all this on the screen guys so yeah now, what else do you need to know here? What else do you need to know here? So, I think the history, the history you already know, uh, where you can see your previous trades. So, yeah. I think that's all you need, guys. That's all you need. Now, if you find the value in this video, guys, just drop a, a comment. Just drop a comment, a like, and a share the video so that you can reach the people that need this kind of information, guys. So, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.